Hey guys, how's it going? Sam here with Tech Talker, and today I'm doing a Tech Talk tutorial as requested by MMU9966. Um, he wanted me to do a tutorial um, on the basics of Adobe Flash here. Um, basically, Adobe Flash really isn't that hard if you can get the hang of it. Um, if you don't, if you didn't see my video of the random cartoon montage, um, you can go check that out. I use Adobe Flash um, for that, and it was the first time I ever used it. So I thought, why not do a little tutorial of the basics? So right here, um, you just I just hit File New, and you did I did Action Script uh, 3.0. So um, first, if you're submitting, if you're putting this on YouTube, you want to go to Modify Document, and then you want to do 1280 by 720. This is the best format for YouTube. You could do 1920 by 1080, but that would just be way too big, at least for me. But you can you can do whatever you want for that. Okay, so down here are what and this is just a basics guide. So today I'm just gonna teach you how to make someone, let's say I don't know, let's make someone talk. So here are your layers. The layers are basically you have layer one, layer two, layer three, you can add new layers and you can change these. So for example, since I make someone talk, I'll just do body. So down here you click into this little guy. Over here, this is your toolbox. Um, I'll get into these later. So right now I'm on the pe um, pencil tool. Now for my for my drawings, um, I usually use either pencil tool or the um, or where is it here or this one, the oval select tool. I usually use that for the heads, but for pencil and I, you can change the stroke. I'm gonna do probably seven. That's what I usually use here. Seven there. And you can just, uh, so now just, I'm just going to draw a simple little body. And you can notice that it automatically makes it straight. Okay, whatever. So that's the body. Um, I'm just going to include the legs into the body. So right here you can just draw whatever you want. All right. Now the this part of the body you won't. So here, this is the thing that I'm not going to be having moved. The mouth is going to be the only thing moving. The mouth and the eyes because he's going to be blinking. So there's the body. And now you can create a bunch of copies of that by pressing F6 a bunch of times here. Let's just say up to 40. Okay. So now you go in here to make a new layer. And you say head or whatever you want. Oops. So that will happen. Just hit remove, right click, remove frames. Okay. Insert frame. Remove frame. Alright, let me just make sure this is still recording here. Okay, yep, yeah, still is recording. So, um, for the first frame here, for my heads, I go to the rectangle select tool. I'm just going to do a basic little, little the head there. Nothing, nothing too hard. Okay, so now you make another layer. Call this one eyes. So, uh, to separate the things that are moving and things that aren't moving, you want to create different layers. So my body, as you can see, is the same the whole way through because that's never going to move once. It's just I'm making new layers because the eyes are going to blink. The head, I'm just going to contain the mouth with it. So, um, for the eyes here, go to oval select tool. Same thing. Oh, select over here. I'm gonna make this black. All right. So now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do two little eyes. Oh. All right. So there are the eyes, and now go back to the head. I'm just gonna include. I'm just gonna do a little mouth. All right. So, here's our finished guy, right here. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Um, let me just remove all these. Oops. Control down shift, right click, and hit remove frames. Alright, so here's our guy. Alright, so now we're going to make him talk. So, this is going to be pretty difficult at first to make things move. 
hit F6, F6. That's going to create two copies of that, and it's going to, and then on the third one, oh, that's right, the eyes aren't in there either. So, F6, F6. Alright, so, it's going to make two copies, and on the third one, you're going to change the, the mouth or whatever you're trying to move. When you're doing just two copies, and then having it 20 frames per second, that is the best, um, I think, the smoothest looking output of your um, character. So, I just did that. I'm going to come over here to, this is what I usually do to edit the mouse. I'm going to delete that. Hold on one sec. Get the eraser tool. I just did that. Erase this. Erase this. Alright. So, like I was saying. Come down here. Actually, um, I'm going to create, I'm going to erase the mouth. And I'm going to make a new layer for the mouth. Because the way I move my mouths, I use the stretch tool, so it's a lot faster. Okay. Alright. God. So annoying. Alright. So, new layer. Drag that. Now, I'll call this one mouth. Alright. So, for the first frame here, same thing. I'm just going to draw a little mouth. Oh, my God. Alright. So... I mean, you, now you're going to remove all these by clicking remove frames. Okay. Alright, so now F6, F6. Okay, so for the third one, I'm going to go up to my, um, this is what I use to move the mouth. So let's say you, you want them to go, oh, so we'll bring this up. And now F6, F6. Wait a sec here. I guess eyes blinking really is not hard, so I'm sure you can understand that. Just in one of those, I'm just going to do this a bunch of times. And in the one in the middle ones, you can just make it blink. The head's going to be the same the whole time. Alright, so. So we just want, oh. So this is what we have. I right, see. So we just want it like that real quick. So you want it, oh. Alright, so now here. Make it smaller again. Can zoom in, hold control plus, zoom in so you can do more fine tuning of the mouth. Then you can just move whatever you want. It's kind of like a flip book, think of it like that. Like you turn one page, draw something different, turn one page, draw something different again. I'll make them go back up again, stretch it out. Now this is a ridiculous. I'm not. I'm not. He's not actually gonna be saying anything. I'm just showing you the way to make something move. So just apply this to really anything. All right. It will make that one the same the whole time. Oops. All right. Whatever. So here what we have. So there's a short little thing. As you see, it looks like he's moving. And down here, you can change the frames per second. So say if you want to make 120, this will be extreme, like a lot faster. Or if you want, you can do like 11, and I see it looks a little more choppy. But yeah, 24 is probably the best for this. Fried rice. <laughs> that's what it looks like he's saying. So anyway, that's all you gotta do. And now to save it, let me just zoom out here. To save it, go up to File, Export, Export, um, Movie and do PNG sequence and then save it wherever you want and then once you save that um, go into really any editing program the programs that don't allow you to do this um, uh, power um, power director Windows Movie Maker and that's about it so just those two don't let you get all those images drag them in like automatically uh, just click one and an option will come up as we noticed a PMG sequence check off or whatever. You check that off and it would all the program, the editing program you have will automatically form all those little images into a movie. Sony Vegas does it, um and you can get Sony Vegas for free. So that's a good thing. Um that's what I use for my animations, at least for putting everything together. So yeah, fried roast, that's that's all you gotta do. If you can get more in depth, make his arms move, put an explosion in the background. So yeah, guys, I hope you like this quick little, not really quick, this little tutorial of um, this Adobe Flash CS5 Basics. 
Um, so yeah, if you don't have Adobe Flash, um, there are a lot of videos out there showing you how to get it for free. I mean, I'm not gonna say that's what I did, but and um, then you can get, you know, you can get. Um, let me just make sure. Okay, good, still recording. And then you can get some um, um, and like Sony Vegas 8 for free. And that allows you to do the PNG students. But if you don't have an editing software that allows you to do that, let's go to export movie. I mean, just make it like a QuickTime or AVI, and it'll still be the same thing. But it's just it won't be as crisp or good as quality. It will be really, really crappy. But uh, yeah, guys, so if you like that, um, fried rice. So uh, yeah, um, it's requested. I hope you guys like it. Thumbs it up. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. <coughs>